to explain what's going on with this. Um, I printed this off to cover the book with, and as you can see, my printer has run out of ink. It was supposed to be this brownish colour, and now it is purple. So, what I'm going to do is grab out my ink. crumples we're going for a distressed look okay, so what I'm going to do for the purpose of the video is I'm going to try and do a small area near the the bit that's the right colour and we'll see if we can match it and then I'll carry on with the rest of camera and let's go for the dried next It's not looking bad. That's pretty good. Just a little bit of this to dirty it up. I'm just going to concentrate on mostly the edges. Sorry, the light is coming in through the tree, so it's a bit weird light, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think with a bit of work, we can make that look good. So I want to show you that, and then once I have distressed it all what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to spray the front with workable fixative and I'm going to spray the back with workable fixative and I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to do the same again maybe two or three times so that it all becomes pretty waterproof hopefully and then when I glue it to the book the ink won't spread because I have an inkjet printer Okay, so I'll be back once that's done. Okay, so I've finished inking this up and I have sprayed it a couple of times with that fixative and I'm going to get rid of the white around the edges to make it easy when we put that on the book cover. I'm not going to do that right now, my page is still drying. There's this focus page, so I'm going to allow that to dry whilst I carry on working I'm just going to show you some prep work and then I'll come back when I'm ready to do the actual cover which I'm very excited about so that's that sorted get rid of those and I've decided that I want Alice on the front in this one I'm going to go around and fussy cut her quickly if I can. Yeah. I'm going to go through the papers in a bit and just maybe pick out some elements that I want as well. That'll be that off camera because you don't need to see me sitting there on the R and over papers. Again, I'm sure you've already seen that. Let's 
If you like the cutting things out, the graphics for so papers are great. It's always got loads of elements that you can just pull off the pages. I myself don't usually like a lot of fussy cutting. I like these to be pre cut because I'm lazy. <laughs> but I know some people find it relaxing. So, yeah. Do, 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 do. But you can't even see what I'm doing, can you? I'm going to get that a bit lower for you. around there for a second and I'll get into there in a minute. So. The reason I wanted to get on to doing the cover is so I can start wrapping the pages that I've done in some yarn and ribbons and things. And then I know they're done. Which means that I'm going to have to try and do something to protect the cover. Um, I'll probably varnish it so that any spills I can just wipe straight off. Or leave on, depending on if it looks good or not <laughs> it might add something to the look of the cover it is a Halloween cover so you know a few spills might make it, make it look like an old spell book or an old potions book which will be cool try not to chop a broom off I know there is like debate on whether you should use little tiny decoupages or large ones like I'm using. Um, I do find these large ones quite easy to use actually but I always worry that I'm going to press down too hard and chop something completely off that I didn't want to chop off. I use this personal preference really. Got curly shoes, oh dear. Let's cut around there for now. I say we'll come in and do the details in a second when she's out of the page. There we go. <laughs> cover she fits on a page so see that yep <laughs> so that's Alice sorted uh, I'm gonna put her on a slipper in the book for a second to keep her safe and I want this on the cover this is going to be all roof shot which is why I've got such a long <coughs> piece of it and I'm gonna try and spray it I'm going to move things out of the way because the spray goes everywhere, everywhere. Have a sip of the tea before we move it out of the way. 
Oh, hear me. There we go. Right. Paintbrush. Right. Let's try and do this in a space where you can see it. Give this Lindy bachelor button blue. I would shake up. I don't know if this will show up on this purple lace. Oh, let me show you. I don't know if you can see what this lace um, somehow over the years. I bought this from a charity shop. I'm assuming it's quite old. It's got um, it's a dark purple, but it's got like like bleached areas where it's gone sort of pinkish. I thought that was pretty cool for this because it's imperfect and raggedy and old. I did want some black ribbon but I haven't got any but purple will do nicely. And I'm just going to add a bit of Lindy to it. Oh yeah. To give it a bit of sparkle. I know my work surface is going to be all sparkly blue. Let's get more on there. There we go. And I'm going to leave that to dry. And that will be ready for when I'm ready to do the cover. See you later. Hi guys. Alright, so I've just finished work. And I'm going to get cracking with this. Um, yeah, so I laid out all my bits that I wanted. And I've, you can't really see it on here, but um, I've taken a photo on my Kindle so I know what I'm doing. Um, but first, we're going to glue this paper down to the book. I'm going to use whatever's left of this gel medium. I want gel medium so it's nice and strong. I was going to use matte but matte medium but this matte gel. Let's get the might have been better with a spatula for this one because it's really thick and gloopy. I'm just going to use the last of this one. What's left of it and yeah definitely need to get this cover sorted because I went to spray the last page that we did with some fixative just to keep that um, distress ink in place and some of the pages from the back fell out so yeah I'm going to need to glue those back in and wrap some string around them to the Alice page that I'd done now then to make sure this is the right way around because little caps on it, not the caps to be upside down. Line it up nicely. We can always trim any excess off later, but let's get it as nice as we can now. And now the spine. Oh, this might be a long video because I have a lot planned to try and show you guys. Try to do as much prep as I can. So I want you to see everything. And let's get the let's get the fresh one open, shall we? I think that's about done. Okay. Oh, yes, no dyes. Oh, lovely. Whee! <laughs> so much easier. It's a very grey day today. I've got the light on so that you can hopefully see it well. Spin on and off, sunny and grain. Yeah, after this, um, I think we might take a little break from the, this journal. I don't want you guys to get bored of it before Halloween. <laughs> We might go and finish off that journaling by five journal. 
Okay, okay. Um, I think I'm going to leave that to dry before putting cutting the edges. So, uh, what's next? Well, we can colour these little things in. I started with this one. This is blue red pages. These little heart tick words. I must remember to put the seller's names in the descriptions. I forgot to do that last time. I might go back and do that when I edit this video together. Uh, I'm going to use olive green green pen for this one. It's going to be like a little Frankenstein thing. a little ruffly thing on here. This is the piece that piece of lace that I was spraying. And uh, I've already gone down one side. This is how I was taught to do sort of ruffle in something. I'm doing this very messily, you can do it nice and evenly if you want it to be to look neat, but you just let's get on camera, you just sort of sew in at intervals as you go up one side and down another. because I'm going to get rid of this one. In a minute. And then you just sort of pull. And it bunches up. bottom there. Ooh, not in it, not in grab the book just so that I can see how big I need it. Can pull it back out again. And then you can use a sewing machine to go along 
or you can just do it by hand, I'm going to do it by hand. Not as I need that. Okay. Just secure it into place. <laughs> I'm not great at sewing, I'm going to admit that. <laughs> but it will do for this, it doesn't have to be perfect, it's Halloween journal. This is good. I think I do want it to be where I think it's fine now. Check. And he's bunching up more when it keeps on bunching itself. Mm -hmm. uh, this is easier in my head. <laughs> I remember doing this at school and I'm sure it wasn't this difficult. Probably because I was doing attaching it to fabric and using the sewing machine, but there you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, just pull it straight on. Perfect, we're in. Just secure this at the bottom. Almost dry enough. Oh. I will get mm. yeah, I didn't smooth the back out very well, did I? Because of that 
lumpy glumpy stuff. Never mind, never mind. Put a hole in it. Ugh, right, okay. So that's fine. Let's get around here. Pages that have fallen out there. Yep, and there we go. See? So we need to get some yarn wrapped around them as soon as we can. myself with those. Oh, there's the gel medium again, sorry, I'm having to take the tripod. Close to the spine. Okay. And I want this on here. Uh, but before I stick it down, I just want to go around the edges with this black pen. Marker just to get rid of any of the white that's showing. Ooh, we'll cut that bit off, don't we? There <laughs> we go, and then we'll pop some gel medium on the back of here. This is one of my leftovers from my. Halloween Wonderland paper set. I never throw these extra bits away, especially not from Graphic 45. It was too nice. Had to be used. <laughs> no. I think. Uh, do I want to put weight on this and leave it to dry? Yep, I think so. Okay, so let's see. Okay. I'm going to stack some stuff on top of this, leave it to dry so that, that really glues down and holds. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay, so that's all there of assorted. Um, <clears throat> I put this stuff on to see if I could, see if I liked it all. I've actually decided that this Alice is too big, so we're going to put her away for something else. And we're going to use this one. That means I can see more of the stuff and I can add a few more bits and pieces onto here. To make it a bit more interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this part off again. On and off, on and off. <laughs> and I'm actually going to put a few of these in the background. Um, just to add a bit of interest. So I don't know where I've got these black peel-offs from. Probably eBay or somewhere, I don't know. 
at the Mawaii. <laughs> this one's gonna be covered up by the other bits mostly, but I'll put it there for some background. <coughs> Oh, peel off. Ugh. Like this. Um, let's get more. Oops. This one's going the other way this time. I'll get it off. Uh, as you can see, I've put this stencil in here, and that's saving a page. I know, I said I was going to do something else after this, but I've had an idea for another page. And yeah, so sorry about that. Probably get another video in here on that. And other than that, I want one more. Let's put that back out the edges of that. probably put some more on the spine and stuff, <coughs> but I think that will do for now. Okay, so we want the Jabberwocky up here. Let's get him down. Oops, way too much fat moving on there. So do it. Doesn't matter because then we can use it to go you know, over everything. Make sure it's nice and protected. Yep. And make sure all the peel off stay down. For some reason that one doesn't want to stick. But it will stick. It will. Now then. Oh, I can see the map. The, uh, oh, this I think is coming up. Now, she's going to be a bit tricky because she's on. The lace as well. Clean that off. I don't want to put monkey her up too much. So put some fresh fat medium down on top of her. I've actually completely covered that peel off that but down, never mind. <clears throat> oh yeah. I thought it would be kind of cool to have a little eye poking through the keyhole. So I drew around the keyhole on this piece of paper. And then I drew an eye. And then what we're going to do, I've coloured it in just some markers. Mostly just where you're going to see it. And I'm just cutting it down a bit where I know it's not going to show behind the other holes that are in the keyhole behind these ones. And then I'm going to glue that down. And probably a glossy accent. And I'm going to go. Let's glue the lid. Do that. There we go. Okay. 
down around the keyhole. I did put some glossy accents on the eyeball, so it's all shiny. glossy accents. On the back of here. There we go. Let me put the corner pieces on. These are from uh, Santoro. I got them from the works. Nice and cheap. Don't know if you'll still be able to find them in there, but Santoro. Search that on eBay, I'm sure you'll find it. I'm just going to cover that up and peel off completely. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get some peel off. Easy now, put their glossy accents in those little bowls. Thank you, Claudia Rossi, for the idea. Oh, I slipped my finger. That's not good. There we go. 
Mm. These things are a little bit bendable, so they yeah. Make sure they're just kind of flat as they stick. Just help it along with one of these. Now then, um, let's add our little hearts. Oh no, not that one. That one. And the fangs up at the top. Okay. Now, <clears throat> is that everything? Hmm. Don't think how I'm going to stop her from getting. I think I might have to put something on top again to squish it all down. My fingers. <laughs> there we go. Keep going around her, sticking her down. Oh, it's coming out the nozzle.
<clears throat> no. What I think I'm going to do, I have done it on the back and the sides. You can tell this is dried. I'm going to go over everything with a gloss varnish. Just to help protect it. Oh, I'm going to have to avoid the lace up. done. What I'll do is I'll post some photos on my blog probably once this is all dried and finished and varnished. Oh I just want to show you I added a piece of a couple of pieces of yarn around the page the two pages that I've already done and I'm about to do a little key to this one. And I'll probably put more things on when I finish more pages too, so yes, yeah, so that's done now. So that means we can secure pages as we go, which is good. That's that. I will come back. Well, not come back. I will, as I say, post photos on my blog when it's all on my blog. <coughs> oh dear, sorry. I don't know where my brain is today. <laughs> I'll post photos when it's all done. And then I'm going to get on with this page once this is dry. Because I just can't leave it. I've got this idea and I need to do it. <laughs> um, what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've put some masking tape down the page that I'm going to use. And then what I'm actually going to do next is um, put some matte medium all over that page and that's going to help with the technique that we're going to do I'll explain that in the video when it comes to it but just so you know that's how I'm going to prepare that page okay so thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed that I hope it hasn't been too long again and I'll see you soon